Here we return to the scene of the crime. Uh, you heard previously, if you'd watched my last exciting video, see me trying to make this talk with this via this. Um, I forgot to um, make a little video explaining what happened. Um, actually, I wonder if I put it in the description. God, this must be really exciting television. Yep, put it in the description. It was a fail. So, um, I'm now trying again, and I think I know why it wasn't working. So this device here is providing power to both the Bluetooth OBD2 reader and to the Nissan Leafs BMS computer. Uh, as you can see from the previous video, when it was running shortly after I turned it on, it was only pulling 0.8 of a, of a watt, or 6 amps, uh, 0.6 of an amp. Now that I've got it running, it's pulling two, two and a half, two, no, two and a quarter, 2.3 watts, 0.16 amps. Um, we've also got communication lights on our OBD2. And most significantly, a little click of some sort of a relay or something happened in there when I put the power on. So, if I can operate this screen recorder properly, if I go there and go there, we are connected. You can see down on the bottom right there, connected. Um, however, we've got some very funny readings. 100% state of health. This is from the computer that used to be in about a 70% battery before I blew it up. So maybe it's because it blew up, or maybe it's because because it hasn't got the cells there. Maybe it's real upset at not having a battery to talk to. It feels abandoned. Uh, also, this is pretty interesting. There's Obviously, there's no temperature sensors attached to this. And so it's giving me readings of, well, I'm not at all sure. Minus 17. Oh, there we go. Auto range. No, yeah, mi minus... Anyhow, no temperature sensors equals funny, funny readings. So there we go. Communication established. Possibly not the most useful communication, but we'll try it on a proper... We'll try it on a um, non-blown up computer next. We'll try it on the computer that I actually want to know what the cells were like that it had been attached to previously. So what I think I did wrong... It's entirely possible that I made a mistake in the wiring, but there's two things I really think I'm not sure that I did right. One, these are the CAN network lines. Uh, there is CAN H and CAN L, high and low. I think I'd made a mess up in the wiring here. I think I'd had, I think I had them basically not connected correctly, so there was no CAN link between this and that. Another thing is the that little purple lead that I've got there. Probably easier to show you on this. Not even on there. On there. Pin 29 is ignition. Now, if I disconnect that lead, leaf spy doesn't work. So if I pull this lead out, I put the thing down by here so you can possibly hear it. Okay, three, two, one. There's a little click, tiny little click. Our power usage has dropped with this guy out. So this is like turning the ignition off on the car. So if I put that back in, you'll see the power go back up and maybe a click. And that'll be when Leaf Spy will reconnect. So, hope some of that might be useful to you guys. Um, might be good to help me find it again in my memory or when my memory has failed. So yeah, hope you like that and keep watching.